Well, only seven races set down for a decision at Common Angle on Tuesday afternoon. I thought there was four worthwhile investments on the card. Commencing in race two with the very lightly raced Kalara Shogun. Now, only two stars to date, and this particular fellow will be giving away age and experience to his rivals, and also the fact that due to his bad manners on each of those two occasions, he's drawn the outside gate. But he's very promising from the Lucky Lodge stable, Kalara Shogun. Certainly beaten at Newcastle last time out. Probably gave away 40 or 50 metres, did make ground via the pegs, flashed home over concluding stages, balked in the home straight and still managed to go down by only a half head behind Bat Maston. I think he's certainly going to be hard to beat Kalara Shogun. As I said, he's giving away experience, but I think he's a progressive type. They're going to race five. I see no reason why we should abandon. Yeah, Charlie, she's been good to us for the past two starts, this three-year-old filly, prepared by David Thorne, to be driven by Jack Trainer. She's hit the line very impressively on each occasion to score in the past two starts. I think she can go on with the job. I mean, she was certainly the one to beat in race five. Going over to race six, and once again, an old favourite here, Mahomes. He's had four from four since a spell. He's probably going out for a break after this particular engagement, but he was very impressive last week. He's got similar opposition. Drawn out one gate wider, so he will start the event from gate 10. But I see him crossing, leading, winning. Mahomes, as simple as that. And as I said, he will be going out for a bit of a freshener, and hopefully that will be five from five this time in. Over to race seven, the number one Scorcher. Now, Scorcher drew the outside gate here last week, was very heavily backed, having his first out from a spell and for Belinda McCarthy. Was used from the 800 metres and faded over the concluding stages to finish seventh behind Doubtless Bay. Now, with that run under his belt and a trial, a fit of Scorcher will tackle this event, and the big plus is he goes from gate 10 into gate one. So I think that'll make all the difference as far as Scorcher is concerned. I think you'll be getting your money back with this particular run of Scorcher in the final event. So that's my four specials for the meeting here at Club Angle on Tuesday afternoon. Until next time, good punning.